President Trump says, how will James Comey explain all the lies to his grandchildren? On Thursday morning, President Donald Trump joined Brian Kilmeade on Fox and Friends in an exclusive interview. Now, during the conversation, Brian Kilmeade asked President Trump about James Comey's latest tweets. Comey lashed out at President Trump after the FBI was caught spying on Trump. And James Comey had this to say on Twitter. He said, facts matter. The FBI's use of confidential human sources is tightly regulated and essential to protecting the country. Attacks on the FBI and lying about it work, uh, lying about its work will do lasting damage to our country. How will Republicans explain this to their grandchildren? Uh, Brian Kilmeade asked Trump about Comey's Twitter attack. Trump threw the insult right back at Comey, saying, I would actually say, how is he going to explain this to his grandchildren, all of the lies, the deceit, all of the problems he's caused for this country? Meanwhile, Brian uh, was lucky enough to talk to the president yesterday on the same day he uh, used a new moniker, Spygate. What he's referring to is it sounds like the federal government uh, investigators inserted somebody close to the Trump campaign to get information. Later today, Devin Nunes, who wants more information from the DOJ, is going to sit down along with uh, Trey Gowdy. They're going to go over some stuff. They would like the documents, uh, don't know if they're going to get them. And then the Gang of Eight is going to go in an hour or two later, and they're all going to talk about all the secret documents that the Republicans want to see. And yeah. they're supposed to not talk about what they see and if there is another Good. implant uh, informant inside the camp. So on the way out, I did not get the James Clapper comments when he said basically the Russians threw the election, which is totally irresponsible. In his book on, with Judy Woodruff, he came out and said the Russians threw the election for Donald Trump. So obviously I would have brought that up, but that hadn't emerged yet. But you did but bring I, up something else that right, broke yesterday. The first tweet that James Comey came out, so I just read it to him, and I wanted to see what he had to say. And it's in reference to the informant that was uh, allegedly, or actually was, implanted into the Trump campaign in the early spring of 2016. As you know, this morning we read some of your tweets even on air, and James Comey's responded. He said about a spy being in your campaign, he says this, facts matter. The FBI's use of confidential human uh, sources that may be referred to as possible spies, that's the actual term, is highly regulated and essential to protecting the country. Attacks on the FBI and lying and its work will do lasting damage to our country. How will Republicans explain this to their grandchildren? What is your reaction to James Comey? Well, I'd actually say, how is he going to explain to his grandchildren all of the lies, the deceit, all of the problems he's caused for this country? I think a thing that I've done for the country, the firing of James Comey, is going to go down as a very good thing. FBI is great. I know so many people in the FBI. The FBI is a fantastic institution. But some of the people at the top were rotten apples. James Comey was one of them. I've done a great service for this country by getting rid of him, by firing him. So you have no problem explaining this to your grandchildren? <laughs> no, no. We're doing a great job. Our country's coming back. Our country's respected again. Uh, what we're doing over there is uh, just another sign of it. That's just one of many things. But we have a country that's come a long way in a short period of time. I think you know that better than anybody, Brian. You see it. You report on it every day. You look at the economy. You look at jobs. Lowest unemployment rate in many, many, in decades. Mm -hmm lowest black unemployment in history, lowest Hispanic unemployment in history, lowest women unemployment, 19 years. Our country's doing well and we are respected again and we're doing incredible trade deals which haven't been negotiated for 25 years. You know, it's interesting he would turn like that and talk about the economy because while so many, while he's got so many things on his table, at the same time, because of the Russian collusion investigation, he's had to continually answer to those to those things and you know to uh, the administration's credit they have pointed out many times so far it was about Russian collusion where's the collusion well uh, I think to, to to turn to the economy is smart because that's what people at home really care about they care about putting food on the table sending their kids to college all this stuff going on in Washington that's why people put him in office right. because they want to drain all of that I, I have an opinion on what you just said um, is that for the first time he doesn't have to say it himself because things are coming out. He wants people not to focus on his words, but on what is sure. emerging from the investigation. And for a year he's been like, yeah, I didn't do anything and I'm going to prove it to you. Now all this stuff is coming out, so he says, I want you to focus on that.
All right, so if you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so by clicking the links in the top of the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. And let's try and make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.